Hey there, eBank fans. In this video, it's more going to be of a project style video than my typical just reviewing products. This one, I actually decided I wanted to install a crate onto my e-bike and one that had a few of these specific criteria in order for it to work. Now, I couldn't find an e-bike crate specifically made the way that I wanted it to. So I decided to go ahead and pick up alternative parts and put it together. So here are the few things that you'll see about this particular install. One, I needed the crate large enough so that my cooler could fit inside. And this is a 20 by 14 crate that is larger than your big rectangular milk crate. So it's about an inch wider, an inch lo longer, and it um, was just perfect for my, for my cooler. It had to be also be something I could just take on and off pretty easily, removable. I could probably install it in about five to 10 minutes. Um, to remove it probably takes about less than two minutes to go in and take that off. It had to be strong enough to also hold 25 to 30 pounds of my cooler. I take a lot of food for lunch and I put them in glass containers so that they're microwavable and it just holds a lot. And it's a 24 can cooler that you'll see in there that also can hold ice up to three days is what they say. So it's a really good cooler as well. It's also not plastic. It's actually a little soft, but you'll see it in the video. It also had to be solid mounting. So I had to figure out a way to make sure that it could mount solidly in order for me to use it so it wouldn't shake all over the place also because of the weight. You don't want it to fall off. Uh, then it also, the crate itself had to be lightweight. So the crate I'm using is only about three and a half pounds where the regular milk crates that you see are about four pounds and above. So this one is actually strong, but yet it's lightweight. Uh, it was also cost effective. This crate only cost about $12.30 or so if you get it from like Walmart. I got it from Costco. I, uh, this one I got from Staples. I got it for less than $15. I think it was about 13 or so. But it was really cost effective. It wasn't very expensive at all. Where you see these other baskets that are to run that 60 to 75 some even a lot more. And I didn't want something like that. Uh, I also wanted to make sure that this crate wouldn't hinder the folding if I left it on my bike, if I wanted to still fold it. And it happened to do that. I, I don't really think I'm ever going to fold the bike when the crate's on there because I can remove it so quickly. But, you know, it was an option. I'll have pictures of that. But whole thing, all in all, it turned out to be a really good project. It took two days. So we had, you know, our Christmas holiday weekend. And I used two of those days to go in and put this together, film it. And I am really pleased at how it turned out. It's solid and it looks great. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear uh, your comments and your suggestions. If you like this video, if you like these project styles, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And I hope you guys all had a great holiday weekend. And I will go ahead and start this video right now. Okay, so when I first got my e-bike, one of the things I wanted to do was to be able to ride my bike to work. Um, I have about a 14 mile commute. So with the bike trails that I have in my area, I, I kind of estimated it would take about, about an hour to get to work. And I thought I'd be able to do it as long as I could take everything that I need. So my daily lunch box would be the biggest problem that I thought I'd have when doing this. And the reason being is it's quite big. And I need almost the whole size of this box, lunch box, to go with me. Um, the well, reason why I want to bring this lunchbox in particular is because if I put two ice packs that I have in here, blanket ice packs, it is so thick, it's like a one inch wall all the way around, that um, this ice box actually can keep ice and my lunch cold even for an hour that it takes me to get to work for 100 degree weather. I decided I want to figure out a way where I can get my lunchbox onto it. My solution was to go ahead and take one of these crates and mount it on here. And it's one of these that pops up. So it's large enough that when I put this in, it'll fit. Um, now I could go this way. I'm kind of debating which way I should go. I'd love to hear what you guys' comments are if I should actually do it this way or if I should be going this way. But I think I'm going to go this way because I don't like as much width. Um, and I think I can keep the weight up toward the front here uh, without it actually moving around or having to worry about balancing issues going left or right. Uh, so what I want to do is mount it to the rack. And that way, as I said, when the cooler's not in there and I don't have it, I can actually collapse this crate right on here 
and it'll just look like this. And I can even strap stuff on here if I wanted to, if I wanted to leave it at a low profile. Um, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. And that's one of the issues that I came across thinking when I wanna commute. And I also want this to be removable. If I, if I wanna take it off, I can. So I thought what I'm gonna do is I'm going to strap this in by using Velcro straps. And what I would do is what I'm thinking is make some slots in the bottom here of just wide enough for Velcro shops to go through. And the other thing is because my cooler gets so heavy because of my lunch, I usually take glass containers so that I can microwave the glass containers at work for my food to be heated up. It'll be heavy, so I need to make sure that the Velcro straps will stay securely down, but also as time goes on, not break through the plastic or tear the plastic away. So the other thing I picked up was just a cheap piece of wood from Home Depot. This was about three bucks, I think, or two something. And uh, I was gonna go ahead and put it on the inside and that way this Velcro straps can come over. Uh, there'll be two support points, but also because this will be an extra added pressure point down in there. And I'm hoping that it'll be able to come, if you can see on the, it'll be on the inside of the crate, but it'll be about this wide and the Velcro strap should be able to hold it through. So that's my goal, hopefully it works out, and let's see what happens. Well, it's exactly seven inches. And this is almost exactly 14. So three and a half inches on each side. Basically, this whole inside, this whole part here, is the inside of the crate. Right, so I can actually just do a measurement here, cut it exactly in half. Now, if I cut it exactly in half, I just need to make sure that'll fit. Okay, so that'll be perfect. But I also need to know where I am going to be strapping it on the bike. I have to figure out, I need to make sure that it's far back enough from the seat. Okay, so the rack is gonna be actually only mounted from this section on up. Okay, so as you notice here, the rack does not go all the way to the back here, which is fine. Uh, it should be strong enough because most of the time that cooler is gonna be on the inside front half of this crate anyway. But mostly what I need to make sure that I know is that when looking at the bottom here, I have to make sure that my holes that are gonna strap are only on this front of the rack here. So when I put the wood on the inside, this will be on the inside of the crate, it's only gonna be strapping on the front side of it, and then it'll hold pretty well there. Okay, so I need to cut this in half now. I got this cheap kit from uh, Harbor Freight called the Drillmaster Rotary Tool Kit. I think it was less than 10 bucks for all of these pieces. Hopefully it works. What I need to do is make slits. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try to open this thing and make slits with this. I'm hoping it'll work and we'll find out. Okay, so I got some power going in.
Okay, so now that I have my holes, you can see them put in there. Hopefully my board perfectly fit. Okay, so this strap is too short. I'm afraid of that. Okay, so I have a longer strap now. I think this should work. Okay, so I finally got the strap to go through, and as you can see, it should, my goal is that it will strap around this wood. That way there's, like I said, more support to go around. Okay, so here's another problem is this strap is too long. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta figure out something else. Okay, so I came up with this idea of perhaps using a PVC pipe to get some extra distance on the, on the strap that was too short. So my idea was I'm just gonna strap this on just so that I can test to see if this is a viable option. Okay, I got that. I think it might be still too long. And that is almost perfect. So you can see here now the strap. It's holding on by about an inch or two. But what I'm thinking is maybe I can even go the other way. We'll see what happens there, but it looks like this might work. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll cut the PVC pipe a shorter. Okay, it's 13 and a half inches. I'll make that an exact. So I need another one that's exactly the same length, 13 and a half. Okay, I have to be careful of this cable here. All right, so I got my extra width now. I can start strapping these guys in. This looks like the winner. Oh, these Velcros are really strong. Oh. Then this strap has to come on the outside. I'm actually going to have to make holes closer up. at least on. Yeah, that's one. 
those two. And we have a crisscross pattern that we can hold now. All right, let's see. Let's get this third one on. Okay. And then one last strap. And then I can tighten it all down. And success. Typically my cooler will now be able to fit in here. There's extra space for my jacket or even the bag. And let's see if it'll collapse. I'm not using it, but I can do that. And to prevent it from banging all over the place, I can just add a bungee strap. Oh. Also, I have one of these, figuring since my tail light won't be covered, I will be covered. Stick one of those on, and that'll be the back side of my light as well. But, crate, my big old cooler. Yeah, this be perfect. I'll also probably be carrying a bungee anyway to bungee this part in, uh, just so that it won't shake around as much. But this thing is really solidly in. In fact, I can even lift the bike up with it. I'm not gonna be worried about anything falling. This is really awesome. I'm really happy. Kukula won't fit that way, but that's okay. Like I said, extra space there. I'm loving it. This is exactly what I was hoping it would do. Probably gonna end up painting the PVC pipe, but I can actually now take this to work. I can even put my uh, jacket, extra bag. I can, these straps can strap in if I want to. You know, I mean, I'm not, I don't go over anything off-road. It's all bike trails all the way to work. So this is an excellent, excellent solution. And it's removable, which is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so this is the final product of the installation that was put on here. And like I said, what I really wanted was to make sure it was something that was removable. So as you can see, the straps that are on the bottom here, something that's collapsible, like you can see here. I have these two bars, as I said, the reason being is that with the amount of weight I have on here, when it goes back and forth and swaying, I didn't want um, these strap points to just break through the plastic. So this adds support all the way through, but it also is really solid. I can actually lift the bike up off the ground using the crate. That's how solid it is. There's some PVC piping that's under here to also add a little more length and strength, but also because the straps I happen to have were just not long enough, but it actually works out better because there's more tension. And also this one strap that's in the middle here is not really a part of the strapping for this. It just holds the PVC. So PVC will be pretty much staying there. I'm gonna go ahead and color it black. And same thing on this side here, but it's pretty easy to remove if I wanted to. Installation, putting it back on, would probably take me about 10 or 15 minutes to get those straps back on there. But as you can see, it's pretty solid. It's because I have such a large cooler to carry around with me. So as you can see how big this cooler is, I, it usually weighs around 20 to 25 pounds. I have mostly glass type um, Corningware style things that I put in there, plus iced coffee, ice packs, and it's quite heavy actually. So I want to make sure it's gonna be something solid, but I also want to make sure that it won't fall out. I love that there's ends up being extra space here as well, but this is what it ended up looking like. I got the whole thing put on there. Thank goodness for the extra straps. If um, you're interested in what, Velcro straps I used, the kit that I had was like, uh, I'll have a link to below. Uh, it's a multi-pack kit and the Velcro is super strong. Actually, I, if you can see these Velcro here, I doubled up an area here because they're so hard to get off without when they're strapped too far in. And this is solid. Like I said, it won't come off. So that's why I have these, the way that it's folded up a little bit this way. Tapping there, going all the way around and this is the vault light that I had. Some of my earlier videos, rechargeable. I have a couple sets of them. They're like six bucks for two. So it came with one red and the white one that I have in the front here as well. Again, because they're rechargeable, it's awesome. I can just recharge them or rotate through them as I have them. And I will be painting these PVC pipes black so you won't even be able to tell. 
But that's the final of what it looks like. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please comment below. And thank you for watching this video.